In this video, we can discuss about pharmacology of androgens and anabolic steroids, which is an important topic from pharmacology of drugs used in hormonal disorders. In this, we will discuss the definition, regulation of release, mechanism of action, pharmacological action, ADR, and hormonal disorders and drugs used in hormonal disorders of androgens which is the male sex hormone and anabolic steroids so as we all know androgens or testosterone are the hormones which are secreted by the gonads or reproductive glands in male under the influence of fsh and lh which are known as gonadotropin which are secreted from the anterior pituitary hormone so let's start with the definition of androgens which is also known as male sex hormone so this can be defined as hormones or its analogs which will cause the development of secondary sex characters in male so that is the definition of androgens now coming to the classification of androgen Androgens can be mainly classified into natural androgens and synthetic androgens. Natural androgens are synthesized in our body like testosterone from the testis and dihydrotestosterone which is uh, formed by the conversion of uh, testosterone by an enzyme 5-alpha reductase. Then androsterone which is the metabolites of testosterone which is usually excreted in urine. Then epi Dihydroepiandrosterone and androstenodiones, which are weak androgen, which are secreted by adrenal cortex. Now, there are some synthetic androgens like methyl testosterone, fluoxymesterone, testosterone undeconate, and mesterolone. So, this is the classification of androgen. Now, coming to the uh, regulation of release of uh, gonads hormones like testosterone and estrogen usually the release of this gonadal hormone are under the influence of fsh and lh which is secreted by the anterior pituitary hormone and this fsh and lh are released under the influence of gonadotropin releasing hormone which is released from the hypothalamus so that is the regulation of gonads now coming to the regulation of release of androgen specifically uh, the uh, testosterone is secreted by the lipgic cells of testes under the influence of LH and FSH which are secreted from the anterior pituitary gland. And the FSH is mainly responsible for the spermatogenesis in case of uh, male and the estrogen which is formed by the conversion of testosterone to estradiol by an enzyme 5 alpha reductase which is responsible for the negative inhibition of a release of fsh and lh in posterior pituitary as well as in hypothalamus and also some uh, proteins like inhibitin inhibin which is produced from sertoli cells have strong negative or fsh inhibitory action now also the testosterone uh, which is excess in our body also have some negative inhibition or uh, inhibitory action in the uh, FSH as well as GnRH in hypothalamus. So if there is sufficient testosterone in our body it will inhibit the secretion of GnRH in hypothalamus and inhibit the secretion of FSH and LH in anterior pituitary hormone. So that is the uh, regulation of release of natural androgens in our body now coming to the mechanism of action of androgens as we mentioned before testosterone is the one of the natural androgen which is secreted by the testes and which is regarded as a circulating pro hormone and which will be converted into more active form of dihydrotestosterone by an enzyme 5 alpha reductase in our body and this Dihydrotestosterone will bind with cis, cis, cytoplasmic androgen receptor that is the specific receptor for the androgen and which will form more active complex than the testosterone receptor complex in combining with the DNA of cytoplasmic receptor. 
So after combining with the receptor, it will produce a DNA, DNA transcription uh, which may be enhanced or which may be repressed by help of co-activator or co-repressor uh, in the tissue, in the specific tissue and which will affect the, uh, which the effects are expressed through the modification of protein synthesis. So the effect of androgens will be produced by the modification of protein synthesis in our body. Now let's see what are the actions of androgen in our body. Androgen have uh, an effect for the development of sex organs as well as secondary sex characters. Like uh, androgen is very very necessary for the growth of uh, genital like penis, scrotum, seminal vesicle and prostate in case of uh, fetus and uh, it is necessary for the development in after the puberty and uh, androgen is uh, required for the growth of hair in pubic axillary beard mustache and body hairs and male pattern of its distribution all these factors are uh, affected by the androgens and androgen will uh, is required for the growth of larynx and for the deepening of voice and androgen will produce some behavioral effects like increased physical vigorous aggressiveness and penile erectness. Now androgen have some action in testes like uh, they will produce spermatogenesis and maturation of spermatozoa. But uh, if we are using large dose it may cause testic atrophy by inhibiting G and gonadotropin hormone like FSH and LH secretion from the pituitary hormone. And androgen also have some action in erythropoiesis. Androgen will accelerate uh, the erythropoiesis by increasing erythropoietin production. And probably uh, it is due to, uh, by the direct action on heme synthesis. So this is the reason for men have higher hemocratic or uh, higher uh, HP value than women. Now coming to the skeletal and skeletal muscles androgen have some anabolic action because testosterone is responsible for the pubertal spoon that is the sudden development during the pubertal stage on the growth in boys in smaller extent in girls also and uh, androgen is uh, required for the rapid growth of uh, bone for the increasing of thickness as well as length and androgen will promote muscle building especially if aided by the exercise and androgen will improve the appetite and the sense of well-being prevails testosterone given into the patients are more prone to salt and water retention and which may develop uh, edema so these are the different actions of androgens so in short we can explain the actions are testosterone uh, will produce the LH inhibition in pituitary hormone or pituitary gland and in testis it will produce spermatogenesis and it will uh, develop the internal genital parts like epidermis, vast defense, seminal vesicles and development in fetus and also it will increase the erythropoiesis that will increase the production of bloods and the uh, testosterone will be converted to more active form dihydrotestosterone. So the testosterone, dihydrotestosterone have different actions like dihydrotestosterone is uh, responsible for the formation of external genital like scrotum, penis and male urethra in case of fetus. And the dihydrotestosterone is uh, re required for the maturation during the puberty of the same. Uh, it is required for the uh, maturation of scrotum, penis and male urethra and dihydrotestosterone will uh, produce pubertal change, sexual maturity and male behavior. Pro it will produce prostate growth sometime, hypertrophy may occur in elderly and it is responsible for the development of hair follicles and growth during puberty and scalp hair loss in case of adult. And the testosterone and dihydrotestosterone is required for the development or uh, development of bone as well as skeletal muscle. So it will increase the mass and strength of the muscle as well as bone in puberty. So these are the actions of andro androgens. 
now coming to adverse drug reaction so if there is any case of uh, hyposecretions of androgen from the gonadal we may have to use uh, the androgen in natural form or synthetic form so while using androgen it may cause some adverse drug reactions like virilization that is excess body hair and uh, it may cause menstrual irregularities in women and it may cause acne and uh, in male it may cause uh, frequent sustained and painful erection as well as oligosuspemia and uh, it may cause precious puberty that is the early puberty in uh, child uh, below the pubertal age and it may cause pr premature sexual behavior and standing of stature due to early closure of epiphysis and higher dose may produce salt retention and edema and a synthetic testosterone may cause cholestatic jaundice and long term of androgen use may co uh, cause hepas, hepatic carcinoma and due to the conversion of testosterone to estrogen sometimes this androgen use may cause gynecomastia in male and it will also produce lowering of high density lipoprotein and a rise of low density lipoprotein so it may lead to atherosclerotic problems in many patients so these are the adverse drug reactions of androgens now coming to the contraindication we have to take precautions while using androgen to the patient who have carcinoma of prostate and carcinoma of male breast and patient who have liver as well as kidney diseases and patient with the, uh, during the pregnancy so these are the different conditions in which we have to take precaution while using androgens now coming to the uses uh, androgens are mainly used in condition where there is a deficiency of uh, uh, hormone androgen from the testes so it is mainly used for the treatment of testicular failure in which there will be a uh, deficiency of androgen in body which is uh, produced by the testicles and second use is for hypopitrutism since uh, hypogonadism is the one of the feature of hypopitrutism so we may have to and uh, use androgen in time of puberty on other uh, hormonal replacements and androgen is also used for the uh, treatment of muscle wasting related to the ears to improve the weakness and as well as muscle wasting by the uh, by using testosterone and also for the treatment of hereditary angioneuritic edema which is a genetic disorder prevented by uh, synthetic testosterone like methyl testosterone and stanozole and danozole by increasing synthesis of complement esterase inhibitors and also androsterone can be used in aging uh, by administrating to the elderly male, male to improve the bone mineralization as well as muscle mass and uh, it can be also used in case of idiopathic male infertility so these are the uses of androgen in case of deficiency of androgen in our body now if our body is producing excess of androgen hypersecretion of uh, gonadal gland we may have to use some anti androgens so these are the drugs which are used to modify the androgen action in case of hypersecretion and the classification include anti-androgens and 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. So anti-androgens are the drugs which will inhibit uh, the receptors of androgen. So first one is crypto, uh, sorry, ciprotiron acetate which is a weak androgerone, androsterone receptor antagonist and flutamide which is non-steroidal androsterone receptor antagonist and biglutamide which is more potent and longer acting conger of flutamide now second classification is 5 alpha reductase inhibitors which will inhibit the conversion of testosterone into a more active form of dihydrotestosterone which is responsible for their androgen action so these are the some drugs which will inhibit enzyme 5 alpha reductase inhibitor thereby it will inhibit the production of dihydrotestosterone which is a more active form like finasterides and deuterastides so that is all about the pharmacology of androgens and anti androgens now we will discuss anabolic steroids now coming to the pharmacology of anabolic steroids 
we are discussing the anabolic steroids along with the androgen because these are synthetic androgens with higher anabolic effect and lower androgenic effects. So anabolic steroids are the synthetic androgens with higher anabolic effect and lower androgenic effect. And the different drugs which will come under the anabolic steroids include nandrolone, oxymethylone, stanazole, methendiinone. So these are the anabolic steroids. Now the mechanism of actions of anabolic steroids is same as that of the androgens. They will act on the androgen receptors and it will produce the a cytoplasmic binding with the and, uh, androgen receptor and they will produce their transcription for the protein synthesis for their anabolic actions. So these are used uh, in case of deficiency of some uh, anabolic process. So uh, the, there may be some adverse drug reactions while using anabolic steroids. So which uh, include hirsutism that is the excess of unwanted male pattern hair growth on the woman face chest and back and it may cause hoarseness of the voice and also it may produce jaundice and it may worsen, lipid, uh, worsen the lipid profile in case of uh, 17 alkyl substituted compound like oxymethylone and stanazole. So these are the important adverse drug reactions of anabolic steroids. Now coming to uses, usually the anabolic steroids are used in case of growth improvement, improvement in suboptimal growth in the boys. Use of anabolic steroid is controversial because stomatotropins is the better option for the anabolism in uh, suboptimal growth in the boys. And also it can be used in hypoplastic, hemolytic and malignancy associated anemia. So uh, the steroids and androgen, synthetic androgen will increase the RBC count as well as hemoglobin count by uh, their erythropoietic action. Anabolic steroids are also used to enhance the physical ability in athletes to increase the strength of the excised muscles. So sometimes some drugs are banned due to usage of some uh, anabolic steroids. So uh, this is, can be also used to increase the physical ability in athletes and also used in catabolic states like acute illness, severe trauma after major surgery or, uh, or who are attended by negative, negative, negative nitrogen balance. So anabolic steroids can be used to reduce the nitrogen loss over short period and also anabolic steroids can be used in case of osteoporosis in elderly so these are the uses of anabolic steroids so that is all about the androgens that is the male sex hormone and anabolic steroids hope it is clear thank you for watching this video